with a wonderful poetry of chapter 13 to the Corinthians. He says to us all, there is a more excellent way. And we, who are followers of Jesus Christ, continue to understand that is the foundation by which we approach everything. That is the way in which we approach how we treat each other and how we recognize each other to actually be part of God's whole loving and wonderful creation. So, all of us continue, and I want to urge all of us to seek that excellent way. I've been really disturbed to find that a number of our representatives who have been considering siding with us Excellent way. That excellent way is love. Yes. Amen. I am the Reverend Liz Sivanov, and I'm rector at St. Clement's Episcopal Church in Makiki. Two weeks ago, the Episcopal Diocese voted unanimously to support SB1. Church has been studying this issue. We study really well. We've been studying this issue for 30 years. And the church is now coming out with a, an order of service for blessing same sex relationships. Our church says that we take scripture and tradition seriously, but only by using our reason. We use our minds when we look at the two of these. We also know that marriage is a civil institution. You cannot get married in Hawaii without a license from the state. It's not a religious institution. If you want to be blessed in a church or a temple, you can do that. But it is civil. And we also know that there is no one Christian voice. They can be louder, and they can have more numbers, but that doesn't mean they're right. There is no one faith tradition that has the whole truth. We all have some of the truth, but if we don't listen to each other, we will never hear the rest of it. So, what I think, even though these folks say that they have the whole truth, they're wrong. They're just wrong, and what they're trying to do is bully us. And we won't do that, we won't be bullied. Same-sex marriages are no more danger to their kids than heterosexual marriages. We don't teach our kids in elementary school how to do heterosexual sex. We're not going to teach them how to do gay sex either. Every mother and father needs, every child needs a loving mother and father. The problem in Hawaii is that 30% of our families in Hawaii are single parent families, usually with women who are living at the poverty level. We need families that are healthy. We have gay families that do have children who are healthy. Unfortunately for the group over here, we do not live in a true democracy. We live in a constitutional republic, so we, we trust our legislators to vote for us, and that means protecting the rights of the minorities. So let me say again, marriage is a civil institution. First and foremost, no one religious sect or tradition or denomination has any right to enforce their beliefs on us or to put them into law. This is the most important thing. Good morning. I'm the Reverend Dr. William Knight, and I serve as pastor of Open Arms Metropolitan Community Church in Pahoa on the beautiful big island of Hawaii. Where our mission, thank you, our mission is serving all of God's children with aloha. The United States Declaration of Independence states that all Americans have an unalienable right 
including the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. According to the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and I quote, when the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, they were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall in. And, and, the quote. and I say to you that the LGBT heirs of Hawaii are seeking those rights to the pursuit of happiness that the person that they choose to build a home with, that they choose to build a family with, spend their lives together with, build memories together with, grow old together with, not as a special class separate from our straight brothers and sisters, but as joint heirs of the promise. The Reverend Troy Perry, founder of Metropolitan Community Churches, began performing same-sex marriages in 1970 as a demonstration of his deeply held conviction that marriage is a civil right and that civil and political rights are universal rights that apply to every single person in this country. This day, Hawaii stands poised to take a giant step towards equality for citizens who've been waiting for simple fairness, who've been waiting for justice, who've been waiting for an end to discrimination based on who they are genetically and spiritually disposed to love. Dr. King's message of equality and inclusion reaches out to those who have been seeking the right and the responsibility to form a deep, meaningful connection to one whom they can love and devote their lives to and with whom they can engage in that foundation of the American dream, their family. Dr. King's widow, Coretta Cutts Scott King wrote these words, and I quote, I still hear people say, I should not be talking about the rights of lesbian and gay people, but I hasten to remind them that Martin Luther King Jr. said, and I quote, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. She goes on to say, I appeal to everyone who believes in Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream to make room at the table of brotherhood and sisterhood for lesbian and gay people. Let's go! 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 Let's go!